Hi everybody. Today I'm going to be painting with this fun little fan brush. Um, and I have to tell you, I was inspired by Bob Ross yesterday, watching some of his videos yesterday evening. And we're going to be using our, or I'm going to be using my My Langs. As you know, I love them. It has lots of fun colors for the beginner. You don't have to be intimidated by mixing your colors. And for me, it's a great price point and they're made by Paul Rubin, so great quality. I've got my palette here, my ceramic palette that I love. Um, lots of big areas to wash in. And I've also got my, my laying, I'm sorry, Meaden um, ceramic water well, because you want to have one to wash, one to rinse. Really important with watercolors. So I love my Meaden products. They're so um, heavy and quality. I just love them. I've got my paper towel here for blotting off my brush. And then I may be using my, as you know, favorite, um, my Princeton Velvet Touch uh, 8 and my 6 round. So I've got those handy here in case I want them. And I might just use a little bit of my small flat brush um, from Meaden. Meaden is a great brush, by the way, for uh, beginners. You get a whole set for under $20, maybe $17.00. So I've already sprayed my paint, so they're uh, activated, ready to go. And let's just start. By the way, I should mention I'm using this wonderful Nomad vintage paper I found on Amazon. It can be used for journals, 100% cotton, handmade. And I thought I'd send out a few cards on this paper. It's just beautiful. It's got that nice uh, deckled edge and just really, really nice quality paper. So I've been having a lot of fun with that. All right, so this is the painting we're going to be doing. Something simple like this, just some nice little pine trees and uh, maybe some water underneath them. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush. I actually have a smaller one here too, and I've had these brushes for ages, you guys. Um, so I'll, I'll find uh, an Amazon link for you. Um, and we're just going to go in. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my olive green like that. And we want to start out again with our lightest color first. So I'm starting with my lightest value, just meaning that it's uh, got more water than pigment probably. I'm going to say 75% water. 25% pigment, and I'm just going to go in and start creating these little uh, branches coming out like this. So I'm just dabbing very lightly the side of my brush, and I'm turning it to get the top here and just use some of these. I could have probably started with this smaller brush. Matter of fact, let's start with that one since we're at the top here. And what I wanna do, and look at this beautiful edge it's giving me here. So while this is wet, I also wanna go in and I wanna start adding in some other variations of blue I really like this brush because of the texture it's giving me. So while that's wet, I'm gonna go in and pick up another green here. Let's try this green. Oh, that's pretty. And just start adding that in a little bit here and there, maybe some of our sap green. And I'm building up in value, if you can see that here. You may not be able to tell that, but I'm, beginning to build in value so that it creates some dark spots and light spots. And then as I get down here near the bottom, I'm going to just use the side of this brush. And I don't want to fill in my whole sheet. So Let's now go in and add some water, meaning real actual, we're painting some water. 
And I think what I'll do is I'm going to get this wet underneath. Just like that. With my brush. And this paper does so well with water, you guys. It's really, really great. And then I'll go in and just start adding some of that blue. Leaving some white spaces there. And maybe a little bit of our Payne's Gray. And then I want to, let's use the flat wash brush here. Something like that. There we go. And I want to add, oops, a little bit more of that green so it looks like it's kind of reflecting on the water here, maybe just like that. There we go. And I'm not going to fill up my whole paper. Now, while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and go in with our flat wash brush. This one's by Meaden. I'm going to pick up a maybe a Van Dyke brown. And I want to go in while it's still a little bit wet. And I want to add in a little bit of that trunk. So just going to tap in here and there. I even want it to blend a bit, just like that. And then we're going to go in and put a tree maybe in the background. So I'm going back to my small fan brush, except this time I'm going to use a very watery mixture. So now this is probably 80% water, 20% paint. And I'm going to make it very wet and just going to add in some trees in the background here. Now see how that lighter value makes it look like it's really in the background there. Really puts it behind this tree. While that's wet too, I'm gonna go in with a dark green. Maybe we'll add a little brown to that and let's just go in and dab in some dark areas there we go look at how simple that was just adding in a little bit more color to that tree in the background and we've got this beautiful reflection in the water here. Yep. Pick up a little bit of my sap green, which I really love. There we go. And I think we're actually about done. I wanted to keep it very simple and clean. I didn't want too much in here. So in other words, the background, maybe up in here, you could write happy holidays or whatever you'd like there. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I think that's really nice, simple, clean, very pretty. We could go in and just add a tiny bit of maybe a little bit of blue for some dark areas. I want to make sure I'm not covering up any of those white, beautiful white spaces that we created. But I want to have some shadowy looks in there. And there we go. I think I need to stop. 
So I hope you give that a try. Um, again, I was watching Bob Ross and I just thought it looked so much fun. He was using a fan brush to make some trees. Of course, he works in oil and we are working here with watercolors, but what a fun, simple little card. If you're good at um, calligraphy, write something fun in here. I'm not, um, but uh, I think that would be really pretty. And thank you so much. You can find um, drawings for this month, not this one in particular, but you can find them in on my website, which is new. I tried to create a website so that you could all have one place to go to. My Etsy little companion kits for some of my tutorials that are uh, $5. I will be holding a class, one class next month, semi-private, up to six uh, girls. And we'll be painting something fun for Christmas, probably the second Tuesday of December. All right, everybody, I hope you give that a try and happy painting.